Take a look at Kevin Durant in this series. Four straight double-doubles. That's a playoff career high for KD. His fifth double-double in this series. He had 32 points, 11 points tonight in a loss. And moments ago, he met with the media. Just wondering, you know, where, where you guys saw the game turn. And, you know, I feel like we're accustomed to seeing you guys be able to bounce back from some deep deficits. I'm wondering what didn't go you guys' way to be able to bounce back from being down early today. We, we did bounce back, actually. We were down four a couple times, and they pushed it up. I mean, I just they responded after every run we made, and um, we got to give them credit for that. Um, but I think we, we we were down early. We got ourselves back into the game. Uh, we were down, like, 12-15, and then we got back, cut it. It was 82-77, then we caught a three-point shooter, and that's when it, they kind of took control. So I felt like we were right there. We just couldn't get over the hump. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Some of those three-point shots, Kevin, came from Chris Middleton. I'm just wondering what you saw from him tonight. <laughs> That's you, Malika? Hi. <laughs> I heard that music. <laughs> yeah, the arena's, it's bopping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Middleton, I mean, the first few threes he had hit was off offensive rebound, kickouts, threes, and then... We fouled him a couple times, got to the free throw line. We got, I think we fouled him three times shooting threes, you know, so that got his rhythm going. And, and he's a shot maker, so you see the ball go in the basket, you get more confident. So we fouled him on threes, and we offers, every time it felt like they got off his rebound, he hit a three. So, you know, he, had, he made timely shots for him. Did you see any difference in, in James's comfort level? It seemed like he was moving a little bit more aggressively. Yeah, he was moving a lot. He was moving better today, but you know that's a tough, tough injury, and he 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 uh, gutting it out for us, and uh, we're not expecting too much from him movement-wise, um, you know. Uh, but he going out there and giving it his all, and we respect that. Thanks, Kevin. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Kevin, in the fourth quarter, you guys were within five points, and they got that 18 to two run. You feel like that was more of a breakdown on offense than defense because you just weren't getting enough help from enough places and it wasn't diverse enough for you guys to get up and get in, get into transi transition and they just kind of wore you out. Yeah, I mean, we, we Joe hit that three, like I said, to put it, cut it to five and the momentum switched when they came down and got the three shots and we called a timeout and then they just regrouped after that and, um, uh, you know, for the most part, offensively, like, we, you know, a couple of possessions, we, you know, stagnant, we turned the ball over, but for the most part, we still just kept playing. And um, that's what we're all about, just keep playing, keep um, trying to win the possession. I mean, offense, we're trying to, you know, patch things together and make plays for each other, but sometimes, um, you know, it's not going to be there. So I think defensively, we, we tried to lock in as much as possible after our offense was stalling, but we, we put ourselves in position to, be in the game late, um, but they made a huge run.